After establishing a detailed background for the protagonist, Michael Burnham, and exploring the political dynamics of space, the third episode of Star Trek, Discovery reveals the central premise that will drive the first season. Set six months after the initial events, the episode titled Context is for Kings introduces a significantly transformed Burnham and Federation. Following the destruction of the USS Shenzhou by the Klingons, a full-scale war has erupted between the Federation and the alien race. Burnham now finds herself imprisoned while awaiting a change in her circumstances. However, her situation takes a turn with the arrival of the USS Discovery, commanded by Captain Lorca. Burnham is thrust into a new reality where she lacks rank, power, and reliable allies. This period of darkness and uncertainty for Burnham plays a crucial role in the larger narrative of Star Trek, Discovery. The show's creators, Brian Fuller and Alex Kurtzman, wanted to explore the Star Trek universe from the perspective of someone other than a captain. After enduring numerous trials, Burnham's desire to be part of the Federation is questioned. The events of the previous episodes, including the loss of her captain and the burden of responsibility for the war with the Klingons, have profoundly changed her. These experiences shape Burnham's character and form the core theme of Discovery. The evolving story will primarily focus on the relationships Burnham develops with the crew of the USS Discovery, starting with Captain Lorca, played by Jason Isaacs. Lorca's leadership skills are well suited for times of war, but his suitability for peacetime and his motivations remain a mystery. As the episode progresses, Lorca's plan becomes clearer. Initially tasked with developing a new propulsion system, it is revealed that he has captured the creature responsible for the USS Glenn's destruction and the deaths of its crew members. This revelation raises questions about Lorca's true intentions and why Starfleet selected him for this mission. However, the effectiveness of a captain ultimately depends on the crew surrounding him. In Lorca's case, dissent arises from Lt. Paul Stamets, a scientist who opposes the use of his work for war purposes. Stamets clashes with Lorca, considering him a warmonger and disagreeing with the crew's lack of combat training. Goldsman emphasizes that Burnham's interactions with Captain Lorca are crucial. Despite her previous act of mutiny, Burnham's conviction and willingness to bend regulations to achieve what she believes is necessary make her an asset in wartime. Lorca recognizes these qualities in her and trusts that she will make the right choices. As the series progresses, Burnham may find her place within this new team, potentially through her relationships with Stamets, Saru, her roommate, or Captain Lorca himself. Star Trek has always centered around the concept of family, and the bridge crew forms a family unit. Burnham's vulnerability and challenges in trusting herself and others make her a compelling character. Star Trek, Discovery is available for streaming on Amazon Prime, offering an opportunity to delve into this captivating series. Part 2. After establishing a complex backstory for the series' lead, Michael Burnham, and delving into the intricate politics of space, the third episode of Star Trek, Discovery introduces the central premise that will drive the story throughout its first season. Taking place six months after the dramatic events of the two-part premiere, the episode titled Context is for Kings unveils a drastically changed Burnham and Federation. In the wake of the USS Shenzhou's fall at the hands of the Klingons, an all-out war has erupted between the alien race and the Federation, leaving Burnham confined to prison. However, her circumstances undergo a significant shift with the arrival of the USS Discovery, led by the enigmatic Captain Lorca. As Burnham finds herself thrust into a new world, being a prisoner aboard a Starfleet vessel means she has no rank or authority. Moreover, she lacks reliable allies to rely on. Executive producer Akiva Goldsman, who directed the third episode, emphasizes that this dark period for Burnham plays a crucial role in the overarching narrative of Star Trek, Discovery. Currently, Burnham does not fit into the traditional Starfleet framework. As a convicted mutineer, she is far from being considered a member of Starfleet. This unique perspective allows the show's creators, Brian Fuller and Alex Kurtzman, to explore the Star Trek universe through the eyes of someone who isn't a captain, offering a fresh and distinct viewpoint. After experiencing numerous trials and tribulations, the question arises, how strong is Burnham's desire to remain part of the Federation? The Burnham in Episode 3 is markedly different from the first officer she once was on the Shenzhou. The weight of Captain Giorgio's death and her perceived responsibility for the war with the Klingons have hardened Burnham forever altering her character. This transformation serves as the core of Star Trek, Discovery's exploration. A significant portion of this exploration revolves around Burnham's interactions with the crew of the USS Discovery, beginning with Captain Lorca, played by the talented Jason Isaacs. Lorca is depicted as a leader perfectly suited for times of war, although his suitability for peacetime and his underlying motivations remain shrouded in mystery.
As the episode progresses, Lorca's grand plan becomes clearer. Initially, he informs Burnham that their mission entails developing a new propulsion system. However, it is ultimately revealed that Lorca has captured the monstrous creature responsible for the destruction of the USS Glenn and the deaths of its crew. This revelation poses intriguing questions about Lorca's true intentions and why Starfleet specifically chose him for this particular mission. According to Isaacs, Lorca is the person you send in when there's trouble, suggesting a complex backstory that contributes to his enigmatic nature. Nevertheless, a captain's effectiveness hinges on the crew they command. In Lorca's case, dissent arises within the ranks, particularly in the form of Lieutenant Paul Stamets, portrayed by Anthony Rapp. Stamets, a scientist at heart, strongly opposes Starfleet's use of his work as a means to win a war. This puts him at odds with Lorca, whom he labels a warmonger. The clash between Stamets' scientific aspirations and the crew's lack of combat training adds further tension to the narrative. Isaacs explains that Lorca faces the challenge of working with a crew composed primarily of explorers rather than warriors. He must utilize the resources at his disposal to accomplish a task for which they are ill-prepared, leading to considerable frustration for the captain. Goldsman suggests that Lorca and Stamets have unresolved issues to address, hinting at deeper character development for both, along with the rest of the ensemble. Goldsman further emphasizes the importance of paying close attention to Burnham's interactions with Captain Lorca. Despite her active mutiny, Burnham's conviction and willingness to bend regulations in pursuit of what she deems necessary make her a powerful asset in wartime. Lorca recognizes these qualities in her and trusts that she will make the right choices, irrespective of whether she can fully trust him in return. As the series progresses, Burnham may discover her place within the new team, potentially through her relationships with Stamets, Saru, her roommate, or even Captain Lorca himself. Star Trek has always placed great emphasis on the concept of family, and the bridge crew forms a cohesive family unit. Burnham's vulnerability and her struggle to trust herself and others make her an incredibly compelling character. For those eager to embark on this captivating journey, Star Trek, Discovery is readily available for streaming on Amazon Prime, inviting viewers to immerse themselves in the series and unravel its mysteries.